Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It was a great life. Back doing some Jethro Hall in the drunk reaction focus. The yeah. guy pulled out a flute. Alex screamed, "It's WTF!" Wow. It was way too good. And you guys said, "If we want flute, we gotta do this band." Yeah. And you all said to do "Welcome Out of Breath." Yeah, it was all over the comment section. Like always, we're down there in the comments. Uh, that's where we get our next song suggestions. And this was by far like everywhere, nonstop. So we exactly. were like, we need to do some Jethro Tull. But don't forget to subscribe because we do bangers all day long. Dude, it's straight bangers from here on out. And you got to be part of this amazing community. We just did our drunk reaction. If you haven't seen that, pop back over there. But I mean, with this said, let's get into some fucking music. Not what I expected. Wow, dude. Okay. 
there was so much I liked about that song. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Start of this, hard start, dude. Might be my new favorite newer band that I'm hearing. Wow. Like dude. of the of the of the bands we've heard recently, like the new <clears throat> stuff that I haven't heard yet. Like of course bangers like Rush or Tool. Yeah. But but like new bands, when I get introduced to a new band, this might dude, be the fucking. This, this is your first song you've heard by them, correct? This might be my favorite from that. Like this might be my favorite new band. Period. Like this. Dude, this, this is the this is the second song I've heard by them. The first song it was uh, thick as a brick. Like. About a year ago, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but they gave, they explained in the comments that it was because that song was not meant to be heard by itself. Yeah. It's like a whole album, it's a whole concept, basically. But dude, this song, the way they start with, with the piano, that classical just vibe, and they got that funk dude, to it too. And, and, and the so guitar started playing back and forth. And so, like, all the chords were so complex and so tasty. All the players were phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, instrumentally, like, just, it was all there. Yeah, it was impeccable. And with the, so with the guitar, the muted strumming, if you guys have been on this channel, you know I love muted strumming, being really a driving does. force rhythmically. And it was different because he, it sounded like he had his finger over, like, one of the frets, like, like a harmonic or something, because it had, like, a, like a sharp, like a sharp type of, like, like a ringing yeah. that kept coming from each strum, which I feel like I would usually hate entirely, yeah. but for some reason, they owned it in a certain way to where, like, I feel like it added a lot of thickness that I liked. Which is, yeah, dude, if that makes any sense to you guys, brick, but dude. it was, <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, this was phenomenal. And the guitarist, I, I'm really excited. Tasty like, dude. The the band that I'm most excited to hear more about, which is so weird because I came into this, my mom has always been like, oh, I love Jethro Tull. And you're this, like, okay, mom. Dude, something about a flute rock band sounds so not cool. But they own oh, Yeah, dude, dude, that was, that I flute was proven solo? wrong. And so the drummer too, he knew how to play, he knew how to hold back. And he knew when to like yeah. release it because there were certain moments where he would actually just bring up that intensity, that dynamic, up a couple of notches and it was into like the chorus clapped, or something. Clapped. And it just it just made it hit different. The fact that he knew like he knew when to hold back and when to release like yeah, his, it his was, guns. It was maturity and play style. Yeah, just the songwriting overall, dude, was just very, like very good. impeccable. Like it felt like it was ahead of its time in terms of songwriting itself. Yeah, when it was very out? very progressive. I don't know. I'm under the impression that it's 70s, sometime yeah. in that okay. range, but so, very progressive. Rating wise, I'm thinking nine point two. Right. Um, it there's it's I don't think it's like the perfect song. Mm -hmm. um, it made me incredibly excited to hear more. Incredibly excited to hear more. Um, and I think they could outdo it from what I'm hearing here. I think that if there was a little more conciseness in their in the songwriting. I, th I think the only issue is the songwriting to me. You think so? Could be. I think it'd be like one notch higher. Really? Like it's, I think it's like a nine. I think they have something that's a ten. I could be wrong. I can see how you would think that, but like for for me hearing thick if you if you had heard thick as a brick just the song by itself. Yeah. And then her this, it's such a step up in terms of like that. a musician's song that like you'd feel different. I'm gonna give this a fat like nine point eight. I don't I don't know what would have brought it to a ten. Maybe something like just something subconscious, but like, dude, this will get heavy airplay well, I in think the what, car. Heavy I think for airplay. me, it might be the vocalist felt a right? little bit loose, not rhythmically, but like like he, it was kind of an odyssey on what he was doing. Like I feel like he was a little more nuanced in, in what he was exactly like. He very word driven versus right? melodic driven. And I think if you made that change, it would have been that 10 for me. I think just for me, everything was a step up from the previous song. Yeah, and that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, guys. Thick as a Brick was not a bad song. I just, you have to understand, like, from what all, everyone said in the comments, heavily, that it, it needed, needed that to be, second part. It, it needed to be heard with all the songs that are surrounding yeah. it or whatever. Um, but yeah, this song was just better Ooh. in every way. Sweet. But comment below the next song we have to do by them because we're definitely going to. Yeah. Like, we're going to have to. I'm very excited. Because just the way the piano and the guitar came in, like, we have to, that, that's like, all right. We have to do another one at some point. Yeah. So determine which one that is. Preferably a banger because that's banger. how we like to do it. We Bang do City Central around Dude. here. If you're but riding that gravy train with us, it's got to be straight bangers. 100%. With that said, going to combo the next song. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.